Hello everyone and welcome to Learning from the Pros from Practical Machinists. Uh, my name is Matt Schmelzer. I'm one of the machine tool instructors here at Northeast Wisconsin Technical College in Green Bay, Wisconsin. Uh, I'm going to go over a, a little uh, activity with you today. Uh, we're going to be indicating a vise to an angle on one of our milling machines. Uh, this is one of the uh, uh, activities that our students go through to produce a project that uh, requires an angle milled on a part. Uh, you can see on our uh, part on the board here, this is our print for it. Uh, there is one feature on this part right here where there is a edge that needs to be milled to a 10 degree angle. Uh, so of course they have to uh, rotate the vise to hold on to this part to create that angle. So I'm going to walk through the procedure of doing this and uh, we'll go through an indicator vise. Here I have all of the uh, tools that we're going to need for this job. Uh, one being a basic shop set of gauge blocks. Uh, we're going to be using gauge blocks to uh, create a buildup for our sign bar. We're using a five inch sign bar, meaning we have five inches from center to center on these pins. Uh, we're going to be using a test indicator. Of course, we got a wrench to tighten our vise down, a rubber mallet to uh, tap the vise into position, and then a calculator. Uh, doesn't really require a scientific calculator with trigonomic functions, but it does help. Of course, we have all of our uh, trigonomic function functions in our machinery's handbook also. So I'm going to walk through on the board the procedure that we're going to do, and then we'll go to the machine. So over on the board here, I have an illustration on uh, what we're going to be doing. Uh, we have our solid jaw on our vise, and you can see we're going to be rotating the vise to the correct angle, which is 10 degrees. Uh, what we're going to be doing is setting up our 5-inch sign bar along with a gauge block buildup to create that 10 degree angle between the vise jaw and the sign bar. That's going to create a nice parallel edge to the x-axis that we can run our indicator across from to create our correct angle on the vise jaw. So, the gauge block buildup. Uh, there's a formula for that. Uh, basically, it is the sine of the angle times the length of our sign bar. So if I look up either in the machinery's handbook or I use my calculator to find the sine of 10 degrees, that's going to equal 0.1736 inches. And then I multiply that by our 5 inch sine bar length. The end result is going to equal 0.8682. So that's my gauge block buildup that I'm going to need to create that 10 degree angle. So I go to my gauge block set and I need to pick out the correct blocks. I usually start off with the farthest digit over here, which is two ten thousandths of an inch. In order to accomplish that, I'm gonna need a .1002 gauge block. So that's gonna be my first gauge block in the stack. So what I have left is .768. So I'm looking at the eight thousandths. I have a couple of different options within my set. I chose to go with the .128 uh, thick gauge block. So there's my second gauge block. The remaining we're at 0.64 so I'm looking at 40 thousandths. So my one option in the gauge block is a 0.14 thick gauge block. So there's three of them and then the remaining is 0.5 or a half inch. There's my fourth gauge block. So I'm going to take those four gauge blocks out of the set. I'm going to ring them together and then we'll put the set up on the mill and I'll show you how to do the remainder. So I'm over here on our knee mill. We have a vise on the table. Of course, we stoned and cleaned the table so it's nice and flat. Uh, I'm gonna start off, I have my gauge block buildup that I created, ring together. I'm going to place those into the vise against the solid jaw. Again, anytime we're indicating, we wanna reference the solid jaw. And then I'll go ahead and take my sign bar and I'll place one end against the vise jaw, the other end against my gauge block buildup. Now just to secure it in place so it's not moving around, I have a few magnets that I'm just going to use to hold a little bit of pressure against the solid jaw and the gauge blocks to keep that from moving around. So now I'm ready, I'm pretty much set up here. I do have my vise set at a close angle, just estimated uh, to get it started. So I'm looking at, uh, first of all, I'm going to go ahead and grab one of my clamps over here, just a stud clamp. Uh, I'm going to place that on the left side of the vise. This is going to be my pivot side or my anchor side, just so the vise isn't moving on both directions. So it's going to basically pivot off of this stud. So I just have that hand tight. And of course, I have my second clamp over here, just a rocker style strap clamp. Of course, because uh, my cutout in the vise does not give me access to the T-slot in this position. 
So I'll go ahead, I'll get my test indicator set up in the spindle. Move that a little bit out of the way. Just gonna double check and make sure nothing moved. And now I can go ahead and bring my indicator over into position. I may have to readjust the knee a little bit. And then I'm gonna go ahead and lock my knee in place just to get rid of any kind of backlash that may be in there. So now I'm just gonna bring my indicator up close. I'm not gonna make contact with the sign bar at this point, but I'm just gonna get it close. And then what I'm gonna do is just gonna look down the sign bar and I'm going to just run the indicator through the travel of the sign bar and just visually see how far I'm off before I start moving. I have limited travel on my test indicator. So right now I can see I'm about a quarter of an inch off. So I'm gonna take my mallet and just kind of tap it, just get it somewhat close. I'm gonna run back over to the other side of my vise to make sure we didn't move too far out of location from this side. So I'm just gonna move it just a little closer, close the gap on this side. Again, I don't have the indicator making contact with the sign bar yet. I'm just getting it close visually before I start. I'm gonna tap it over a little bit more. And then bring it down to the left edge of my sign bar again. So there I feel I'm pretty close visually. So now I can go ahead and bring my indicator into the sign bar and I'm just gonna preload it a half of a turn. And I just have it zeroed out on the indicator with a half a turn of preload. So now I'm gonna go ahead and travel back over to the right side of the sign bar. So I'm seeing a little bit of movement at this point. It's going clockwise, so that's telling me I am higher on this side. So I'm just going to go ahead and take my mallet, back that off, right back to zero. And at this point, I'm going to go ahead and bring my other clamp over here and just put a little bit of light pressure on it, just so I'm not moving too far out of location. So I'm just hand tight at that point. I'm going to travel back over to the left side. Our specification with the students is we want them to be within one thousandth of an inch total from left to right. So I'm just going to go ahead and just zero out my dial on the left side again. And I'll travel back over to the right. Looks like we're right on the edge, maybe a little bit off. So I'm going to go ahead and just bring that right back a little bit, right back to zero. And I'm going to go ahead and snug my clamps up a little bit more, just so I don't move too far. I'm going to go back and double check to my left side. I'm getting very little movement. I'm well within five ten thousandths of an inch at this point. So now I go ahead and I'm just going to tighten this up for good. Now there may be a little bit of movement when we tighten our clamps. So just one more travel across to double check. <clears throat> and we're pretty much zero, zero from left to right. So this is just a quick little procedure on how to make sure our vise is indicated to a specific angle. In this case, it's 10 degrees. We did the gauge block buildup. We used the sign bar, secured it with some magnets, using our test indicator to uh, verify that position. So I just want to thank you for uh, joining in. Uh, if you like these videos, hit the subscribe button with Practical Machinists. Uh, any questions or uh, ideas for future videos, let us know in the comments. And uh, we'll see you next time.